CataractCoach.com. FACO without hydro dissection. That's right. No hydrodelineation, no hydro dissection, no nucleus spinning. Wait a minute, Professor. What about that saying you told me? If it does not spin, you will not win. Well, let's watch. Remember, I'm teaching that to basic surgeons. You can be a more advanced surgeon like we have here. And this surgeon is going to do FACO with no hydro maneuvers at all. So you can see here, FACO probe going in. Cleaned up a little of that anterior cortical material and now doing a groove down the middle. Let's see the technique, perhaps uh, some sort of chop, a stop and chop. Let's see what we got here. And you can see the little bit of uh, oil accumulation on the central Purkinje light images. There it is, so a little bit of a divide and conquer, maybe stop and chop. Nucleus split into two halves. Again, no hydro maneuvers work done at all in this case. And this is the surgeon's preferred technique here. And now it looks like a little bit of a Another groove here, a little mini groove perhaps. So some variation of a divide and conquer technique here and bringing that nucleus pieces, spreading them apart. So now you've got two small pieces there. Opposite the faker probe, there is one piece coming out. I know this is fun to watch, isn't it? Here's another piece coming out. And so now you've removed maybe a third of the nucleus and now you've got two thirds remaining. Those are split and they can be brought up. Again, no rotation at all. Now, would you like to do this technique? You've seen all the extremes. This is one, a case with no hydrodissection, no hydrodination, no nucleus spinning. You've seen me do it. I tend to do hydrodissection in every case, often hydrodelineation. I like to have the nucleus spin just a little bit. You've seen our good friend, Dr. Rossatelli from Brazil, who does a really good spin. He spins that nucleus around and around and around, and he cleans up all the cortex at the same time. He can just do phaco with the probe, and not have any cortex to clean up with the IA probe. So in this case, obviously you're gonna have significant cortex that's gonna be uh, required to be removed here. So now you can see, even though there was no hydrodissection, we're still able to complete a good cortical cleanup here. So I just thought it was interesting to show, yes, there are many variations of FACO. Remember this, as long as you're putting in your effort to give a great result to your patient and everything makes sense to you, you can do any technique you like. There's no right or wrong way. I mean, obviously, of course, you know, don't break the capsule. Don't, you know, cause those types of issues. But if you get the nucleus out nice and easy and clean up all the cortex and get the new IOL in the capsule bag and the patient's happy, hey, do it however you wish. And if you want to do it like this with no hydrosection, here's proof you can do it like that. That's very nicely done. And the case looks beautiful. Nicely cleaned up capsule. There's the last bit of cortex. And I'm going to show you one more of these cases. Let's show you another one. Here's the end of that case. Looks great. Let's go to the next case. Again, here's the rex is being done. And that looks pretty routine. And again, no hydrodissection, no hydrodelineation is going to be performed at all. And so phaco probe going in here. And again, we'll show you the technique. So I've taken out the air bubble. Okay. And now this one has a nice red reflex, a little bit better uh, tear surface there, better tear film less particulate matter and oil in the tear film. So cleaning up the anterior cortical material, here comes a groove down the middle. And so because you can't rotate this, you can't do a traditional divide and conquer that plus sign because think about it, you, you don't have that kind of access. So a groove down the middle here to get two halves. So now I'm learning this technique here. Now the other situation where we saw something similar being done was a video from Tom Oding, O-E-T-T-I-N-G from Iowa, who showed us how to do a cataract surgery in a case where you have a broken posterior capsule and intravitreal injection. That's a neat video. You can search for that with his last name uh, or some other method on cataractcoach.com. You'll have a lot easier time finding it than you will here on YouTube. And so again, now this surgeon is doing the same thing, breaking off some smaller pieces. So very small quadrants, maybe each, each about one eighth of the nucleus to maybe a quarter of the nucleus, bringing those things up and then, once about a third of the nucleus have been removed, then the other two thirds can be removed by just kind of tilting the probe one way or the other. And there it is, the pieces can be brought up out of the capsule bag. So just keep this technique in mind. It's helpful to learn all kinds of techniques. There certainly are cases where this is very beneficial, like we mentioned, if you have a patient with a ruptured posterior capsule or damaged posterior capsule from the trauma of an intravitreal injection, this may be an ideal technique. Maybe also pretty useful in a posterior polar case. And you can see here at the end, cortex is now easily cleaned up with the IA probe. Nucleus is removed very efficiently. And here we go. 
I probe going in, yeah, it's a little bit more work. There is more adhesion or adherence of this cortex to the caps or bag, and you've got to take your time in getting that out. I like this two-handed technique. That's pretty slick, using a spatula in the one hand to help kind of strip off the piece of cortex. And once that's done, nice thorough removal, you complete the case. So in fact, I still believe if you're a young surgeon who's done less than a thousand cases, please just heed my advice. Do hydrodissection. Also think about doing hydrodelineation. And yes, stick with the rule. If it does not spin, you will not win. Once you've done more than a thousand cases and you're an expert yourself, hey, you, you tell me how you like to do it and send me a video. Thanks for watching.